Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. What does an elephant, a woman in high heels, and a four foot runner have in common? Well, that's what we're talking about today on the Doc on the Run podcast. Now, this may seem like a strange episode, but I was just having a conversation with a runner who is a not just a four foot runner, but she's really a four foot runner, like running on your tiptoes kind of four foot runner. And one of the things that I brought up with her was a number of studies that have actually talked about the amount of pressure in the forefoot when a woman is wearing high heels. And specifically, there was a study that actually showed that when you look at the actual pressure under the foot, under the forefoot specifically, in a woman who is wearing high heels, that a 100 pound woman wearing high heels actually has more pressure, more pounds per square inch of pressure than a, an elephant, 6,000 pound elephant barefoot. And how's that possible? Well, one thing is that when you're standing on really steep high heels, it tilts the metatarsals. It's such a steep angle, it puts a lot more pressure on those points under the metatarsals. And in addition, the whole foot is not actually on the ground. An elephant also has a significantly larger foot. And when an elephant walks, they actually have two feet on the ground at the same time. So believe it or not, a woman in high heels actually has more pressure than a 6,000 pound elephant. How's this relevant to runners? Well, with this particular runner who is having lots of issues, who is really an aggressively angled forefoot runner, really running on the ball of the foot, Although there's not a lot of research around this, it seems like if you're running way too far on the forefoot that you actually are putting more stress on the foot because number one, the metatarsals are tilted up at a steeper angle, but also when you supinate your foot aggressively landing and walking on your tiptoes basically, it keeps your foot locked and supinated and doesn't absorb forces as dynamically. Now, I am not one of those people who is trying to criticize forefoot running or uh, thinking that you just need really cushioned shoes that you can run as a heel striker. I think that there is certainly a lot of benefit in analyzing your run form, looking at it and trying to figure out if you know, you're a heel striker, you might actually have uh, less injuries and be able to run better, faster, train more, all of that if you are more of a midfoot striker. And although many really, really fast sprint athletes run on their toes uh, the same way, they're not running marathons or ultra marathons. So it's really important to think about these things in terms of you specifically, your specific foot type, the way that your foot is hitting the ground when you're running and see if that might be contributing to some of the trouble you're having. And sometimes some small adjustments, just decreasing the amount of steepness in your gait when you're a four foot runner might actually really help you. So if you like this episode, please like it, please subscribe, please share it with another runner and I'll see you in the next training. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.